Hello everybody, Tim from LiveCaseBreak.com. We got a couple eBay personal collection cards, a little mail day video. So again, like I just said, good luck to myself. Hopefully nothing's damaged here. There's a huge PC card in here from one of you guys. Managed to spot it on the bay. Alright, this first one is from South Bay Sports Cards. I believe this is a red Pompeii. Looks like a red Pompeii. Very well packed South Bay sports cards. Excellent review on that. Blah blah blah. PayPal. Nobody needs to know what I paid for these. <laughs> and there it is. Look at that. They even sent it in the rookie card, although it's kind of sticker on the back. Four out of five. Yeah, that's going to get a new top loader. <laughs> Use top loaders! Bit of a story here at LCB about those. It's Pompeii is destroyed with surface scratches, but that's not their fault, really. I'm sure it came out of the pack like that. Four out of five on my Pompeii Red. That won't sleep between me and Lisa, but what's and the other two packages might. So yeah, Pompeii's value at an all-time low right now. So I finally decided to grab a couple of them. What's up, Dave? I'm about to show the card you found for me. Just in time. And this one I did open earlier just to make sure it was in there. I can tape on the top loader still. Vu Fam. Vu Fam. I did ask him if he had ever subbed this. He said no. It was in a pile of cards he planned to sub, so. Let's see what happens there. tape on top loaders. Like, how do people not under... Should I make a video and put it on YouTube showing people how to pack and ship properly? Wanted this one for a while. Finally got it at a price I was comfortable at. My Pompeii. Mine now. A little Super Mojo. 2016 or 2015 Chrome. That is going to Beckett along with that red. Hopefully it grades well. The centering top to bottom looks a wee bit off. Left to right looks perfect. Back, tough to tell, but it doesn't look bad. <laughs> Gerald to do the video, right? <laughs> that is a used top loader as well. We're two for two on used top loaders, but whatever, the card got here safe. It does look really nice, I have to say. I'm sure it's got some hidden flaw, because there's really not any reason it shouldn't have been graded. I think it was on eBay for a year. Well, we sell a ton on eBay. We've never sent anything in a used anything. It's always a new top loader, new team bag, and then we use uh, paper base cards pack around the outside. Maybe I should do a video. Maybe there are actually people in the hobby that don't know how to ship. There could be. Five bucks in value? Damn it. I'm in the I'm in the red on that then. You get some new top loaders for myself. I did good. There we go, that's pretty now. Much prettier. Oh really, Ron? See, so they're really, like I say it as a joke, but there actually are people that just don't know that it ruins the top loader, leaves that shitty residue. You know what? I will do, oh, I reuse top loaders too, Dave. I will do an instructional video on shipping and post it to YouTube. Hopefully it helps people. Not tonight. <laughs> no, I, I, I agree, Ron. I, I, there are a lot of people that come here too, and they'll ship stuff in for BGS, and I'll mention it to them. 
Okay, this is a amazing card for my collection. I actually want this more than that Pompeii Super, if I'm being 100% honest. Because it completes something I've been working on since 2013. 2013. Some of these cards are Dave's uh, Beckett cards. So we won't get into those. Now Dave, I half expect this to be an April Fool's prank. Hopefully it's not. <laughs> I half expected you to April Fool's prank me though. But you did send me real pictures, so... I'm hoping, man. Hey, we're the kings of reusing uh, bubble mailers, by the way. It's a big game, Cardacion, Steven! Not in this box, though. Oh my god, there it is. Dude. Like a freaking schoolgirl right now. This card is so damn hard to find. Oh my god, and it's really the one out of five. Woo! I gotta get the cards out. I'm so excited right now. Pink. One of five, Edwin. It looks so red. But it is indeed pink. Let's see if I can mess with the color. Let's see here. No, that doesn't show it as. No, that doesn't do it. Whoa. Freaky. White balance? No, I don't want to touch that one. That one looks like it could screw up the whole thing. Gain? Wow, gain really does nothing. <laughs> I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Now I have to go through my entire rainbow and decide if it's worth grading. Pib, I will show you why it's so important. Let me get Dave's BGS cards in the proper uh, department. Are these labeled? These aren't labeled. Alright, let me label these. It is not from the 90 foot moment. This is back in 2013. This is Edwin and Joey's first year that they both really went nutty. And it's an awesome card and I'll show you why shortly. Well, I'll show you why I, I really wanted it. As a Jays fan, we got to see this celebration at home every time, you know, one of them hit a bomb. That Solar was that one, okay. Pop that out and we'll get it to the right person. Alright, let me just get his BGS cards labeled. AK Breakout and Resub. Assuming. Isn't that the one that had the wretched centering? Yeah. He just wanted to try for a 9 5 there? Or try for a bump. Same thing on the Mania. Fuck. Fuck. Sounds good, man. Okay. Do you remember what rookie P that was from, Dave? That bot or that uh, Solar? What number it was from? By chance. Okay, guys, this is why this Edwin is so important. Okay, first of all, these pinks were so freaking hard to find. Numbered out of five, I honestly felt like they were rarer than the Super Fractors, because almost all the Supers came out. Could not ever find that pink. And this is why it's so important. It's the only one missing. So this is nerdy as hell. This is my rainbow book. This is where I store all my rainbows that I'm actively working on. 
There's Edwin walking the parrot. Just missing the super on that one. There's my Joey Bats. Still working on that. And then this is the Edwin. We've got everything. Every single freaking parallel except what was missing right here. We had Atomic. We had Camo out of 15. We had Red out of 10. We had the Super. We had Black out of 100. We had CP out of 75. We had Gold out of 50. Orange out of... What was Orange? Orange wasn't numbered that year. Purple, Blue, X-Fractor, Prism, Base. Boom! We can finally slide that pink in there. I've been looking for this for literally years, and Dave actually found it on eBay. I had never seen one live. Actually, there was one live, like, release week. That was it. It's the only thing I collect that's close to, like, sets. I love doing the rainbows of the players. Other than that, I'm not much of a set guy. That pink does look clean, Dave. It would be fun to try to grade all these and get a 9-5 uh, a rainbow, but I don't think the super specifically would score a 9-5 because the centering is way off top to bottom. Why won't that focus? Dave is the man. I would have missed it otherwise. Maybe somebody else would have seen it. But yeah, top to bottom centering, as you can see, huge gap on the bottom. Tiny gap up top. Could be how the card was supposed to be, but you can tell it's off on the back, too. We'll see. Either way, that is getting framed up on the wall. That's going to look really nice. <laughs> I get a text. Oh my god! 